off to John's furniture repair in Saskatchewan. Come on with me. Hello everyone, it's Turner from John's Furniture Repair here in snowy Saskatchewan. Back home, visiting my dad at his shop. Let's go on in and warm up. All right, so this is my dad's shop. I grew up in this shop for a bunch of years. Also some other shops, but this is the one he's had for 20 years or so. And you can see it's jam-packed with awesome furniture waiting to get uh, the love that it deserves. And there's a couple pieces that he's got finished here waiting for pickup. Dad just finished this really pretty little pie crust table this week. And this really interesting thing had a cracked top and put it back together. One of my dad's really nice finishes right here on this table. He's got waiting for people to come get this stuff. So that's kind of the front area here where we keep all of the things that are, are finished and waiting to get picked up. And then this is the office where we have our coffee breaks and hang out and chat. And my dad made this desk a long time ago. And many, many days are spent here. And my dad's got my article up here on the wall. Um, a few years ago when I first moved to Windsor, actually in January 2014, the Windsor Star um, did an article on me starting my business there. So that's kind of cool. You guys can Google that. Windsor Star John's Furniture Repair. That'll come up if you can read it. And here's the shop. And I've spent many good years here working with my dad. I've got so many good memories of learning stuff here together. And it's got lots of work waiting to go. He does such good work. There's always a big waiting list. So it's, it's nice after 50 years to always be full of stuff to do. Never looking for work, that's for sure. So we were working on these guys together, doing a patina finish with some gold highlights. Um, he's got lots of stuff going on, fixing little chairs and tables here in the works. His worker, who's usually here, Ken, works over here and does most of the prep work and repairs and stuff that's going. And all these tools here are pretty familiar to me. Worked with lots of them for many years. Nicely organized, and uh, yeah. So I remember hanging out in this area lots. And this is mostly where my dad does his touch-ups and everything. He's got his touch-up kit over there and he takes on site, does some work for some really nice furniture stores in Saskatoon. And that's uh, an old sign that we had from a previous location. I was gonna steal it from my dad, but then I made my own logo, so I'll steal it later. And this is his giant spray booth. And in the spray booth is my dad. So this is John of John's Furniture Repair. Hi there. <laughs> Working hard while his daughter bothers him. <laughs> and this is basically his setup here. All his spray and tint stuff and a nice big fan. Uh, behind that filter wall and then we've got fresh air intake right here we set this up a couple years ago so kind of similar to my booth a little bit different and uh got the master at work in there so <laughs> and back here we've got a birthday present brand new compressor thanks to all of the donations from you guys on uh buy me a coffee app so i got to uh get my dad a fun new compressor because the good old boy that we've had going for 20 years, he died. Now that's a Cadillac out there. Two stage, 80 gallon compressor. Excellent machine, run for many years, probably built in the 50s. And uh, it still works, but got a leak in the tank because I finally arrested through, so. And 
my dad's got some nice machinery here, nice lathe, jointer, all that kind of stuff. And upstairs, I'll take you to meet another person. And a whole mess of me that my brother built my dad when we first moved here. And we got a whole bunch more furniture up here waiting for some love and attention. And then we got this lovely gal. This is my mom and she does the upholstery. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I'm also bothering, bothering her while she works. I all wish I would do something useful around here. <laughs> so she's got a really nice little setup. She's got a really organized space and she's just reupholstering her turntable here get it ready for some more work and she does really nice stuff she's like a master sewer she could sew circles around an elephant so this chair she just finished here really beautiful leather upholstery on an old Morris style chair she does really nice work look at the spacing on those buttons that takes time yeah so this is her domain up here we try to stay out of her way because she's a force that's where i get my willpower from right there that woman anyways i'll leave her alone now she's getting annoyed with me <laughs> so how come you uh, decided to teach your daughters how to do this stuff well i needed help Mm -hmm. they, they needed a little bit of cash, so... So it just worked out? I just kept giving them jobs and... Mm -hmm. But there was always something to do. And yeah, some of it stuck and some of it... Some of them went to other careers. Yep. So what you're saying is we're all really smart. <laughs> well, if you're really smart, you wouldn't be doing furniture repair. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I've always enjoyed doing this. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. You don't do it for the money. You do it because you love it. So, what's your favorite part of this job? Probably meeting the people and uh, helping them to realize that there's still... Um, good furniture that needs to, that's worthwhile restoring yeah and making beautiful pieces for their homes yep i agree people the people our customers are really great people for the most part mm -hmm. they're wonderful people and they mostly understand the work it takes to do this stuff so they don't mind paying for it for yeah, the most, most part so. many customers say that's good value for your money yeah it's always rewarding when, when they say that. Yeah. So that's, this is the shop I pretty much uh, grew up in. I love this place. It's got awesome memories. And I uh, only have one more day here with my, my dad and, every, and my family. And then I'm back to Windsor to get back to work in the shop back home. So I just thought I'd give you a little tidbit on my trip down to Saskatchewan. And I'll see you guys on the next video.